Reading and writing has the ability to be exciting. It has the ability to be bright like lightning. Through the use of synonyms and adjectives, we can really enhance our reading comprehension and our writing, especially our vocabulary use. Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing synonyms and antonyms. Hmm, we have quite a difficult question today, but that's nothing that we can't handle. How can understanding synonyms and antonyms improve a reader's comprehension and improve a writer's vocabulary? First off, let's learn about synonyms. A part of speech of a synonym is a noun. The simple definition, same or similar. The first known use is in the 15th century. The proper definition is a word that has the same meaning as another word in the same language. An example is hot and scalding. How I try to remember the meaning of synonym. S is for synonym and S is for same. Synonyms provide you with a variety in speech or writing. Since there are endless synonyms for each word, you can avoid using the same word over and over and over again. The English language provides many opportunities for writers and readers to enhance their craft. What am I talking about? Don't just write a story about you being happy. There's many different shades of meaning of the word happy. You can be glad. You can be joyful. You can be cheerful. Use your vocabulary. Think about synonyms. Now that we've reviewed synonyms, let's review antonyms. What exactly is an antonym? The word antonym is a noun. The simple definition of antonym means opposite. Its first known use was in 1857. It's a word with a meaning that is opposite to the meaning of another word. An example is hot and cold. So we've discussed that an antonym means the opposite of another word. You can use antonyms to help you show contrast between two things or to emphasize your point. Antonyms can help you explain exactly what you mean. Some words can be transformed into their antonyms simply by adding the prefixes un, in, or non, such as the word thinkable into unthinkable. Utilizing antonyms in our writing can make something that is boring and drab very exciting. Take for instance, your friends. Some are polite, some are rude, some are tidy, some are messy. But one thing we can all understand is that they're not the same, they're all different. Do you agree or disagree? So how can you understand synonyms and antonyms to improve a reader's comprehension and writer's vocabulary? That's easy. You need to add diversity into not only what you're reading, but also into your writing so it's not so drab and boring. Synonyms and antonyms makes reading and writing much, much more fascinating. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Connect with us. Check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.